Hey guys, so I ordered a mist maker fog maker. It's supposed to be for water fountains. I've seen this on two channels now and you know how it is. Monkey see, monkey do. So I got one to see if it works. I got an Amazon Prime, it was like under $10 or about 10 bucks. And let's see what it is. I think it was Orchids and Kitties and, oh, I can't remember the other channel I saw it on. I'll put it in the description. So, this thing. It's supposed to go, I don't know, I, was, I got it from my humidity tray. Might not be deep enough. I was like, if this works, it'd be awesome. So. So these are the directions, one to three centimeters of excess water I guess yeah so it should be underneath and then it has extra water on top fog in the water part terranium fish tank fountain blah 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 clog fog works best when the top of the water level sensor is five to three millimeters below the surface get power to thing turn it on it does about 200 400 milliliters of water per hour so that's about Per hour, 100 milliliters is a little over three ounces, like 3.2 ounces, so three, six, six. So it's about nine ounces of water. When it falls below, oh, that's good. So when it falls beneath the minimum level, the water level sensor turns off automatically. Okay, so let's go over and test this. <laughs> so this is the humidity tray. Let's see. I keep, I have like a pebbles and then ceramics falls in, ceramics tends to fall in there. But yeah, I keep it. It helps with the surface tension and it helps with the evaporation. I think. <laughs> anyway, so this device and this side up. So, so let's see. see. I can near the center. I don't know if it's going to work. It might not be deep enough. Something like that. And then luckily it detaches or else it would have been totally useless for me. I'm going to put the first grate back. I think it's the other way. And then this guy. What I just did is I thread this in out of this hole right here. And it's laying right there. There you go, difficulties. Be right back. Alright, so I got it on. Pour water in. It kind of sort of works, but not, it's too tall. Once I put the grate on, it doesn't work anymore. It's too tall. A little experiment fail. It's a shame. So this guy's going to go back to the store. And I don't know, I'm going to try and see if I find another one that might work better. But it definitely creates the fog. It creates the humidity mist, but not enough. Yeah, it's a fail. <laughs> It's a little too tall. And once I put the grate on it, it stops fogging. So, yeah, this isn't gonna work at all. That's a shame. I'm gonna see if maybe if I find a different product. If it was something like elongated, like a stick, it would be so perfect. But this little guy for my humidity trays, not gonna work. So, oh well, sorry guys. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, look at that. It needs a humidity tray was like an, had another inch of depth to it. It would have worked perfect. Okay, guys. So as you can see, the mist maker does work. I have it in a bowl. It needs deeper water than my than my humidity trays. So I'm doing a giveaway. For whoever wants this mist maker, just let me know. I tried returning to Amazon. They just told me to keep it. And they gave me a refund. They were like, donate it or toss it or whatever. So I have no use for this. But I'm sure somebody out there might and so whoever wants this just let me know and I'll pick somebody randomly and I'll send you the mist maker <laughs> anyway 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.